Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. November 1985. At the height of the Cold War, the leaders of the two worlds meet in Geneva and gather around one table. The goal, to find a solution for the world's looming energy dilemma. As the result of this superpower summit, Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev sign an agreement to develop fusion energy as an inexhaustible source of energy for the benefit of mankind. The ITER idea is born, and from now on, the fusion community in the East and the West has one goal, to design and build a machine that would prove the feasibility of fusion energy on a large scale. By November 2006, the preparatory work is done and the representatives of the seven ITER parties, representing 35 nations, signed the ITER agreement in Paris. This is the starter pistol for one of the most ambitious scientific endeavors ever dared. November 2015, ITER has become a reality. An international organization has been set up with its headquarters in southern France. Seven domestic agencies handled the procurement of each member's in-kind contributions. Today, the blueprints for the ITER plant are with industry, and the components and systems are taking shape in factories on three continents. <laughs>